Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, in the past few days, I haven't been feeling myself, and therefore my videos have not been coming out as regularly as they used to, but now I'm feeling much better. So let's get back on this horse and ride it to the very end, shall we? Uh, so at any rate, in this video, we find ourselves in Akron, South Carolina, with this, uh, well, incredibly stupid uh, frauditor that goes by the uh, channel name First Amendment Protection Agency. And, well, he decides to go to uh, court and pay his ticket fine or whatever the hell it is while filming it. He gets denied service. And it's supposedly his last day to get this thing paid as well. So, you know what? Sounds like a personal problem to me. So, let's go ahead and sit back. Relax. And enjoy the show. All right, today we're going to Aiken County Traffic Court. Yeah, the only problem is uh, you, buddy, because you need to uh, actually study up on what the uh, judge's orders are and everything like that within a non public forum, such as a courthouse goes because according to what the Supreme Court of South Carolina has uh, drafted yeah you're not allowed to do this especially at any areas that are conducting court business such as this window right here dude and you can easily look up this policy online and find out how much of a dumbass you are how you doing I just came to uh, just need to pay a ticket I'm sorry? Oh, no, I can't. I'm in the public area here. I can't. I know. I, I, no, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the public lobby here. I'm in the public lobby here. I'm in the public area. Yeah, dude, I suggest you get up off your lazy freaking ass and learn how to read the documents that you find online because they might be uh, quite a bit more beneficial to you than uh, what you hear from your uh, grand master frauditors such as Long Island Audit or uh, or even Chile de Castro, per se, because they're all a bunch of morons as well. How you doing? Yeah, I just need to pay a ticket. Oh no, I can't though. No. I'm in the pub. Uh, no, I'm in the public areas. No, I'm in the public areas. I can't. Okay. Well, then send somebody out here that will. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So after nearly ten minutes of him standing there, uh, the police finally show up. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage because he's still not going to uh, get what he wants out of this mostly because he's an illiterate dumbass who probably dropped out of the, uh, school in the what the fourth grade or something like that because so yeah something tells me that he's got less than a, a ninth grade education a little longer than a few minutes later well I'm I need your help. I'm not gonna sit here all fucking day. How's it going? I need to pay a ticket. No, they can though. No. I'm in the public area. They most definitely can. They have to. They don't have a choice. Oh, really? Who says uh, this? Uh, you? Because, well, you apparently don't have any power around here because you uh, leave this place without uh, getting your way. So, yeah, you're just a pathetic little ant who has no authority over anybody, including these police officers. So shut your dang mouth, go online and pay the ticket if you want to go cause some problems. But of course, you're too stupid to figure that out as well. No, they, they have to. They do not have a choice. Yes. Get, get, get Call somebody supervisor out here. I want to speak to your... Uh, not, no, theirs. So, after you just went and did your homework, that's what you think that sign says. 
you, you think it says that they don't have to accept while I'm recording, right? That's what you believe? What's your name and badge number? I, I can't hear you. I'm sorry? 5988 daily? Awesome. Cool. So you're going to refuse service? You're not going to let me pay my ticket? This is a courtroom. No, is this the courtroom? That's the courtroom, right? So this is the waiting lobby, right? This is the waiting lobby, right? Am I in a different room here or something? Of which room? Right. So the public is allowed in here, right? According to the uh, court ruling, uh, you are in a uh, area that is pretty much off limits to electronic recording devices, dumbass. You are at the window where you pay the fines at. So therefore, the policy applies in this situation. So you know what? Buzz off, dude. Go pay the fine elsewhere if you don't want to cooperate. Like online? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Thanks. No, I'll keep, I'll keep dinging the bell. I don't have time to sit here and wait all day. I'm going to keep dinging the bell. So get somebody out here to come and pay this ticket. Thank you. Oh, you just did. Oh, you work for me, big guy. Oh, yeah, you do. Huh? Right, who does the sheriff work for? Not for you, dude. And you certainly don't have any power over anybody in this particular situation, dude. You are trying to... Well, be a bigger man than what you actually are in this scenario. You want to order people around, yet you fail to understand the actual policies that govern their jobs. So how can you uh, be in charge of anybody if you don't even understand the policies at hand? The policy that is dictating that you're not supposed to be filming at this window. If you can't understand that, then, well... You have no authority here. And if you have no authority here, you're trying to throw authority around as if you're a spoiled, petulant little brat of a child who thinks he has power over somebody else. And, uh, well, sorry to break this to you, but you're in a classroom throwing a tantrum and uh, the teachers are just ignoring you at this point. So that's all you are. And, and in case you didn't understand that, that was a metaphor, you dumbass. Right. For who? The public. Aha. There you go. Nice. There you go. Yeah. I would be too. Okay. I'm sorry? If you don't stop recording, you're not going to be allowed to make a payment. Okay. So, so you're going to refuse service for me expressing my First Amendment right in a public area, correct? Uh, th this may, hold on, hold on. Just let me ask you a question. So you're going to, you're going to refuse service for me? Yeah, it was brilliant that she didn't fall for your rhetorical trap. Because it's not about the First Amendment, you dumbass. I mean, did they say anything about... You can't be a journalist in this building? No. Have they done anything about your religion? Have they done anything about your freedom of speech? Have they done anything else to violate your amendment, First Amendment rights? No. The only thing they asked to do was to turn off the recording device, which is not a violation of the First Amendment, because it has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the security of the courthouse itself. Sounds good. So you're gonna you you're gonna go through with this, correct? I'm sorry. What? Can I get your name and badge number two? You, I, I'm not gonna give you any attitude, man. You've been sitting here. You you seem like a cool guy. You're trying to relax over there. Put a couple of lip pillows in, man. I I'm, I'm giving you your I'm giving you your time. This guy's acting like the clown right now. I'm sorry. I, I mean, yeah, you're acting like one, yeah. Yeah, you are. I'm not going to sit here and have a circular conversation with you. Sure 
So what's going to happen if I don't leave? I'm sorry? I thought you weren't talking either. Huh. All right, so then let's have a conversation. I, I'm, I'm sitting here trying to record my own transaction and make sure I have a record of it, and I'm allowed to do that. Uh, dude, uh, I wonder what happened before cameras came along uh, when uh, you couldn't really make a video record of a transaction. I wonder how that went down. In fact, uh, I seem to remember these pieces of paper recording everything that uh, you would keep a copy of it and uh, the person giving you the transaction would uh keep a copy of it i just can't recall what they were called in fact do they still go to give those things out nowadays oh um i think they were called receipts yeah that's it they're called receipts and the court keeps a record of the receipt and you can keep a record of your receipt i mean isn't that what they how they used to do it and isn't that how they still do it So then tell me what's wrong with what I'm doing right now. I would want to stay bipartisan if I were you too. So which judge, was that a decision made by the judge like right here? Was that lady that walked in the judge or? It was who? I'm so, could you just write it down for me? It's hard to hear it through the glass. Okay. So this was the one that wrote it, right? Cool. Awesome. So then which which was the judge that was called to confirm? Ru could you I, I can't I can't really hear you. You wanna just write it down for me? Thanks. Rushed him. Cool. Sorry? And talk with Rushton, correct? Okay. Rushton called the court administration's office. So is Rushton a judge or no? Yes. Okay. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, I just wanted to make sure I got confirmation on who was uh, refusing service and who's going to be doing that because this is my last day to pay for this ticket. So now we're going to have a different problem and you'll see me back. I'm sorry? Yeah, I'm not paying online. I'm paying here. All right. We'll see you guys around. Have a good one. Well, it sounds like a personal problem right there now, dude. You don't want to pay it online. You don't want to pay it unless you have a record of it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's another issue. If you actually pay it online, you would actually have another record of it, another receipt. Oh, boy. I mean, it, it's traceable right there. More traceable, in fact. Oh, boy, dude. Are you a freaking moron or what? Simply because you now have a, a bank record of the transaction when it's taken out of your account. And the court also has a record of it. So now you're covered on more than one front right there. I mean, come on now, dude. Are you that much of a freaking moron? Uh, yeah, that was a rhetorical question. Of course you are. And if you couldn't get this paid because you couldn't meet the guidelines they set up, well, that's nobody else's problem but your own. So take responsibility for your own actions and admit that you are a fuck-up in this occasion. Oh, boy, dude. You are certainly a half-wit, aren't you? So at any rate, guys... I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you playing cereal? Who's that?